What's poppin' everyone? It's about that time for some real heat over the holidays. Hope you're having a good one. Actually, leave a comment and tell me what you've done so far over the holidays. I'd like to know. Also, subscribe if you haven't already as we are on the road to 100k. I appreciate the support very much. And today, we're going to be bringing some new heat, courtesy of my boy Joey Pokeam. Now, he led me to the set which turns Stantler into Gliscor. You know I had to bring Stantler for the holiday season, but check this out. We have here the Toxic Orb skill swap set. So if we actually skill swap a Gliscor, we get Poison Heal. And then look at our moves. We have Facade Earthquake, just like Gliscor. <laughs> it's pretty fire. And we have subs so that we can activate our Toxic Orb. If we're behind a sub and they try to attack us, at least we'll have some kind of safety net where we can actually go for a move in case they they try to switch out or something. Especially if they switch out in the Gliscor, we skill swap right after. We take their um, Poison Heal and we give them Sap Sipper, which I mean, we don't have any grass moves on this team or anything like that. So it's pretty nice to be able to essentially take away Gliscor's Poison Heal and actually let it get damaged by Poison while we heal with Toxic Orb. I didn't even know this thing got Skill Swap, which is pretty cool. And the speed tier is not that bad, I guess. Um, the attack is still pretty decent with Facade will be hitting pretty hard and Earthquake is great for Heatran, Magnezone and stuff as well. And so I paired it with a Magnezone because this thing is walled by Skarmory. I was also contemplating running a mixed attacking set with like Thunderbolt, which could actually destroy Skarmory, but this set here is pretty fire. Like Skill Swap Toxic Orb, like Skill Swap the uh, Gliscor is actually, uh, it's kind of nice to see. And I'm hoping that we can pull it off in this video. But yeah, Magnezone can trap the, the Skarmories and stuff like that. I guess you could run Knockoff on a Pokemon. So I was running Knockoff before I had a Drapion in this slot here, but kind of switched things up a bit. You could easily run knockoff here if you want to get rid of like shed shells guaranteed and stuff. But I'm just running U-turn in this slot here. So Gliscor is for rocks, nice Fizz Def, ground type Pokemon. And then we have uh, Defog with Skuntang with, uh, with the black glasses. So this actually guarantee knocks out a thing like Gengar as well as um, probably Latios or something. So it does a lot of damage with the uh, the adamant nature black glasses Sucker Punch. Foul play is pretty good for any kind of setup as well. And Poison Jab, Oko's Breloom, I think. So they're pretty nice overall. Um, enough speed to outrun, um, I guess, uh, Pokemon like Breloom, Adamant Breloom, and Magnezone, Timid Magnezone. Then we have uh, Azu, which is there, just a really hard-hitting Pokemon. Good wall-breaking potential with Choice Band. And finally, Dragon Dance Dragonite, which uh, ha has Fire Punch on this team so that we can actually destroy Spidef Scizor, which can be an a little bit more annoying for uh, Magnezone. That's going to be the squad. Let's just go ahead and hop into our first game. Try to make Stantler put in the finest of work. I mean, if we could see some skill swapping going on, that could be really nice for sure. If this is like a gut swallow and we sub and skill swap and uh, steal the guts, we get the guts facade. That could be kind of funny if we are able to do something like that. So I wasn't sure whether to make Stantler adamant or jolly. I made adamant just for the power, but jolly actually could be pretty viable. If this is like adamant Lucario, or if this is like a Timid Heatran, that could be something worth noting to run. Um, I think here I just lead with Stantler as he leads Rotom. I'm going to sub here turn 1. I don't know if this is Scarf or not, but he's just Nasty Plot turn 1. Okay, so let's Facade here. <laughs> let's just Facade immediately. See what he goes into right now. So Nasty Plot Vol Switch is the play that he made here. Good to know. So it's going to be Heatran coming in. I'm going to Earthquake here and gone. Okay, good, good, good. So Adamant did work out in this case because he's a uh, slower Heatran. So Stantler putting in the work immediately. And we start the timer to pressure. Not bad. <laughs> Stantler, Stantler coming through. Okay. So Swello is next. He's probably going to be able to knock me out here. I'm not sure exactly what set this is though. But I think Magnezone walls it regardless. So I'm going to go into that. Brave Birds, yep, nice and walled. We get to click uh, Volt Switch here, should be the play, as nothing switches in. I mean, even Thunderbolt, even Thunderbolt's an option because we 2 hit KO anything. Yeah, let's just Thunderbolt here, let's just Thunderbolt. Why, why Volt Switch when we can just attack and destroy what's in front of us right now? So I'm gonna, I'm just gonna attack here. He'll you turn out, I mean, Scarf is still slower than Swellow, so that's fine. Rotom is in, that's going to get not quite to it KO'd, but still pretty decent. I don't think we really need Skun Tank in this matchup, we need Magnezone a lot more. So I'm going to go Skun Tank and Sucker Punch here for some damage. That does enough damage to be able to knock it out once again with Magnezone, uh, and just Thunderbolt here is the play. 
to eliminate this Pokemon. So I assume now, okay, so Weavile comes in, he probably has Brick Break, so I'm gonna go Azu. And we actually Icicle Crashes, that looks to be Banded. I'm gonna Waterfall here, and he tries to go for it again to flinch me, I guess, but that's not gonna work, and I can knock it out there. Swellow is back, so I assume he knocks me out here. What I wanna do is go into um, Gliscor. I think Gliscor is the play. Facade does 51. So he'll unfortunately, oh, does not knock me out. Okay, nice. So I get to go Magnezone here, and I think just Vol Switch out is the play. So yep, get a little Vol Switch out here. Let's go into Stantler. I think is our move right now. So Lucario's in, let's just Earthquake here. If he wants to knock me out with Close Combat, he can. He just Meteor Mashes. No attack boost on his end there. And so we go Magnezone and we click a Vol Switch. Extreme Speed shouldn't knock me out either. Get a little Vol Switch off here. Go into Gliscor. Let him knock me out. And then I think we just go into Azu Aqua Jet. Yeah, Aqua Jet a couple times. And if this thing is Scarf Togekiss in the end, I think we have enough for it. So like we can, oh no, he's just leftovers. Okay, that's good because Lucario should get knocked out by Dragonite's Extreme Speed. So I just Aqua Jet here, Aqua Jet again. It looks kind of to be a roll. Yeah, definitely a roll there. I feel like I faced this guy on the Sword and Shield ladder a couple times. Yeah, let's go Magnezone here, Vol Switch out now. Into Dragonite. I think an Extreme Speed knocks it out from the range it's set. The, or otherwise the Life Orb will. But a good game nonetheless, and we got to see some Stantler putting in the work. GG. Excellent game. And we get to move on to the next one now. So we put in the we put in a good amount of work with Stantler. You know, just being able to sell on the Rotom, forcing it out, and then just knocking out the Heatran right after. No Gliscor here, but um, I can still see some work. He's <laughs> dot dot dot. Oh, we got the thumbnail text already. You already know we got the thumbnail text. <laughs> I'm kind of scared of this Stantler. <laughs> Me too. Let me lead Magnezone here, because it actually looks kind of good as a lead. So we lead Magnezone, we could just go ahead and uh, I think just Thunderbolt here. Honestly, he has no switch-ins, so if I just get rid of Skarmory immediately, that would be kind of nice. That would be definitely kind of nice. So we get the... Nice critical hit, Shouldn't, doesn't matter anyways. Uh, I'm not sure if this is cuss tap or not, but if it is, I mean, we could try to defog after, afterwards. Yeah, it's gonna be cuss tap, so he brave birds. Instead of getting up a spike, which I thought maybe he would, but this is pretty good. So here, all I gotta do is just Thunderbolt again. See, close combats, that's fine. We are choice scarfed. And then in that case, I think we just, um, I think we go Gliscor and U-turn. Seems like the play. Dragonite's kind of a threat, but I think we can handle it. Uh, I don't know if he could have noticed Scarf. I mean, oh yeah, I guess he could have noticed Scarf because Custap should be... Custap should be max speed, so he should have noticed Scarf then. Yeah, that's true, that's true. But a U-turn here will be able to just... Oh, you turn failed. Okay, never mind. It's good. Starmie's in. We get to. What do we want to do here, actually? I think it goes hard Skun Tank or. See, I don't know if Stantler can really do much here. Kind of hard for it to. I, I would want to defog, though, if I could. That would be kind of nice. Mm. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I think I have to sack Stantler here. I don't want to go hard Skun Tank on a Hydro. It'd be kind of bad. I'd probably get knocked out then. Let's go Stantler. Yep, and then Skun Tank now. Defog here. Should be the play. Because I know I live a Hydro Pump. I think I live a Hydro Pump. Pretty sure. But yeah, I assume maybe he might go T-Tar. But if this is Dragon Ass T-Tar, that could be a threat. Could be a threat. 
So yeah, T-Tar comes in. Let's just uh, foul play here. So yep, that is indeed Dragon Dance. He might be in range of uh, Aqua Jet, maybe. Yeah, so we Earthquakes. He's probably going to also have Ice Fang on this thing for Gliscor. Thing is, I, I don't think this thing is going to be that useful, though. So he actually, no, he has Stone Edge. Okay, that's fine. That's pretty good. So now he's in range of Aqua Jet. So we can Aqua Jet this. Get rid of this Pokemon. Which is pretty good overall. So Starmie's in. We sack Gliscor here. As he tries to Thunderbolt, not gonna work. And then Ice Beam, okay, cool. So now we go into Skun Tank and we Sucker Punch here. So I don't think he can switch. I don't think he'd want to switch. Yeah, so that, that knocks it out. So Skun Tank actually putting in a lot of work here, wow. Not bad at all. So then Dragonite comes in, he's forced to Dragonite, so we foul play, we do a ton of damage, a ton. He actually extreme speeds. Oh, that's Banded? That's a Banded extreme speed. Which is good to know. Um, question is, who do we want to go into? If we go Dragonite, I'm pretty sure... Actually, I think we go Dragonite. Save Skun Tank for the Sucker Punch. Because we eat this extreme speed and we can just Outrage here. Yeah, Outrage should be the play. Because we knock out Dragonite. We live in extreme speed, we knock out Dragonite. He can't switch into Lottie, and if he goes Lottie, then he, he can knock us out, but then, yeah, we just Sucker Punch afterwards and win. I'll start a timer here. A GG nonetheless, though. Oh, a crit. I was, okay, maybe I spoke too soon. <laughs> but nah, we lived, though, so that's, that's good. So then Lottie's next. He can knock us out with the Thunderbolt. We go into Skun Tank. Sucker Punch should take it out from full. Uh, or not. Okay, never mind. Maybe I didn't EV it right, but still. GG. Didn't get to see Stantler here, but that's alright. That's alright. Still a good game nonetheless. We got Thumbnail Text. So it's still a win in my books because we got the Thumbnail Text there. <laughs> you already know. Thumbnail Text is always a win. Win or lose the game if we get somebody saying something. That's uh, definitely... A plus, a plus for sure. And we continue on. So two for two right now in this video. So we have the Gliscor here. Ah, the Gliscor is here. And I don't think we lead Stantler. I think we lead Skuntank in case of a Mew lead. But he actually leads with the uh, Gliscor. Oh, okay. Then maybe I just go Gliscor of my own. Perhaps could work. Maybe he like Earthquakes or something. So we go Gliscor here, he decides to rocks. We can rocks ourselves too, if we want. Let him uh, U-turn out here. Which is pretty good. Rotom is in. I mean, he could easily just Hydro Pump. I definitely want to switch though. I don't have a lot of great answers for Rotom, to be honest, on this team. I don't have a lot of great ones. Like that, for instance. And then I'm forced to... I think just Thunderbolt, just get some damage off on this thing, is the play. I mean, he could go back to Gliscor if he wants to, but yeah, he does. So he can U-turn out once again, should he decide to do that. Um, so the Rotom is actually Leftovers, which is good to know. Maybe if he's Leftovers Rotom, I'm faster with Gliscor. And I can just U-turn out here. Yeah, I am faster. Nice. We get some chip. Good chip damage. I'm going to go here into Skuntank. And I'll, I'll probably be faster with this thing too, and I'll just Poison Jab here. It's an easy little Poison Jab for us. No Poison though, unfortunately. Uh, but here what I can do is I can just go Stantler and Sub. See what he wants to go into here. I hope he goes Gliscor so I can uh, Skill Swap it. That'd be kind of funny. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we can win in the end with... Oh, yes it is! I, I think we can win in the end with Dragonite. So I'm going to sub here, then I'm going to skill swap. Take this, uh, ooh. <laughs> not bad. Ah, not bad at all. I'm going to sub again. 
So now we are Poison Heal Stantler. Let's go. <laughs> we have successfully completed our, our challenge here. Successfully. Look at that damage too. Ooh. Let's knock this Rotom out. Because he can't even switch out anymore, I think. Unless he defogged. Yeah, Rotom's gone. Stantler coming through. Stantler the Gliscor. <laughs> Let's go. And now I go into my own Gliscor here. Or I could stay in with this thing, because why not? I could, yeah, I could stay in. <laughs> Just get it knocked out. That's fine. Um, but it put in the work. The finest. So we go into uh, Azu here. I think I just click Waterfall. Could also Aqua Jet as well, but I think Waterfall is the play. As we can just knock out this Infernape entirely. Entirely. He turns out he actually stayed in. Kind of crazy. But no matter. No matter. I think we win the game with Dragonite. Hopefully. Hopefully do. So Scizor is in. This should get 2 it KO'd. Nice, nice. If he wants to bullet punch, he can. Yeah, so that's uh, that's fine. Absolutely fine. So Mew is in. I'm not sure what this is going to do, though. I, maybe I go Magnazone here, just to kind of see what he wants to try to do. He's going to Thunderbolt. Okay, so we want damage on this thing, definitely. And so he's Thunderbolt, Flamethrower, probably Ice Beam as well. Ooh, he probably could be Ice Beam. That could be pretty tough. So how do we win this game? Let's see. To win this game, I mean, we could go Dragonite Extreme Speed into Aqua Jet. Like, a bunch of Aqua Jets could actually win, potentially. But this list score is still pretty healthy, so maybe not. Maybe I go Azu first, then Aqua Jet here. Which is not enough to knock it out, unfortunately. But then we go Dragonite here. Extreme speed should be the play to knock this out. So then Titar comes in. We go Gliscor on this. As he does have Ice Fang, unfortunately. But we do dodge. And I think this might be all the damage we need. Yeah, this might be all the damage we need, actually, to win. I'm just so happy we got the st we got the Stantler game though. Win or lose, we got the Stantler game, and that's all that matters. Yeah, so this uh this Gliscor can't knock me out, so I can't I can just roost here. Yeah, so he turns out Infernape can't knock me out either, I think. So I can just attack here. Ooh. <laughs> I'm getting a little fortunate. That actually, um, depending on the investment, might have been able to knock me out. Might have, but it all depends. So he only has rocks on this thing, which is good to know. All I have to do is just uh, stay in. Yeah, all I do is stay in here. His only move is um, no, actually, I, I can I can definitely turn out though. I can definitely turn out and just uh, dragon ends up. His last move should be roost. Yeah, so I think we win this game. Yeah, GG. Good game, good game. Unfortunate uh, hacks there, of course, but for the opponent, but still, but still. I mean, we're bringing a Stantler, <laughs> and we try to make it turn into a Gliscor, and we did. We succeeded in our in our goal there, and actually, while testing, it's only happened probably once out of maybe 40 games <laughs> or more. So definitely, I'm really happy about that. To see a Stantler turn into a Gliscor between, uh, right before our eyes. Right before our eyes. Um, that's that's just nice to see. Let's continue on. Whew, not bad. Not bad. Okay, so we don't have a Gliscor here, unfortunately, but still. I think we have uh, the tools necessary to make this Pokemon... Or make this team put in the work, I should say. Rotom is always a threat, though. I lead Stantler. Looks like I just lead Stantler here. So it's going to be a Mamoswine lead. That Pokemon is a threat once again. And uh, not sure how to handle this Pokemon. I could also um, I could also just... Uh, let's see. Maybe I sub. Okay, so actually I am faster than this thing. And we're behind a sub now. So I can just facade. And, and actually 2 KO Mamoswine here. Which is amazing. Amazing. Oh, that's actually nice. So he stays in. Get some big damage on this thing. 
And he actually had Icicle Spear and hits four times, so knocks me out there, which is most unfortunate. However, however, what I can do here, though, is perhaps go into Azu. And I think we just Aqua Jet here. I could also play rough to predict Rotom, but okay, that's fine. Get some damage on this thing at least. I will need to defog and then set up a Dragonite, and after I set up a Dragonite, I win. So that's the end game right there. I would have saved Mammo if I were him because he needed that thing for Dragonite. That's kind of why I play rough there, or like, for the Ice Shard at least. Well, even then, actually, not maybe not because um, Mammo Swine was in range of E speed. Okay, not, not bad, not bad though. I could probably save this Azu. If I can defog, that would be really, really nice. That would be very ideal. Magnezone also goes in too, like that thing kind of outruns everything. Looking at it now. So let him knock off. We go Skuntank and Defog, so this is perfect for Dragonite. Setting up the way for Dragonite to put in the work. I don't think there's any Sash Mons, but I can also set up Rocks afterwards. So this is probably Bandit just because he has no uh, Life Orb damage or any kind of other item that I can sense right now. It's probably Choice Band. What did he... No, he's not Choice Band? What item is he then? I'm not sure. I'm not entirely sure. Um, okay. So we get a little poison on this thing. Oh, he's Dragon Dance? Okay, so I'm going to Sucker Punch here. And he should get knocked out by the Aftermath. Yep, Aftermath takes it out. Nice. And then we go here into Magnezone. On what I think is going to be Rotom. Yeah, it is, and I'm just going to try to get as much damage as possible on this Pokemon, because this Pokemon is a threat. That's good damage. That's the, exactly the kind of damage I needed. Rotom being gone opens up Dragonite in the end. A late game Dragonite puts in the work, and I don't know why he goes Infernape, but this is great. I get to go Gliscor here. He tries to Flare Blitz. Let's get Rocks up here, and that's gone. So the Rocks will put probably Rotom in range, depending on his set, I guess. But he's leftovers, so I guess is he more Fizz Def? Because that's definitely not Spidef. <laughs> that is 100% not Spidef. So yeah, Rotom is in. We are just going to... Okay, so that's fine. We go into Magnezone. We Volswitch out here. That should definitely take it out. Yeah, Volswitch into Dragonite. So Gengar is in now. We Dragon Dance up here. And then we just... Um... So he's actually Black Sludge. I think we just... I mean, we could Outrage here, actually. That's another play we could do. Because I don't think... Uh, yeah, we definitely Outrage here. Oh, Disabled. But I'm Disabled, so I can't... I can't go for it. Oh, I can, maybe I can't go for it again? Or... Because I'm locked in, right? What, is it, what does this mean? <laughs> if I'm Disabled while using it? Does I, do I still get to use it? I hope I can. I hope it's not like struggle. Let's see, let's see. I can't use Outrage. <laughs> You're kidding me. Okay, well I get the Fire Punch and win. I don't know why he went for U-turn, but yeah, he could have just Bullet Punched there. <laughs> I didn't even know it worked that way. I thought that um, if I was disabled mid-Outrage, I'd just uh, switch moves or something and not be locked into it anymore. But it said I couldn't even use it in the first place. That's crazy. Um, okay, cool. So I guess I mean he, I guess maybe he didn't lock himself in a bullet punch. He's more offensive. That definitely looked to be banded. Banded U-turn. Kind of did a lot of damage there. And uh, we continue on. So Stantler. I forgot if it did anything in this game. I don't remember <laughs> if it did anything in this game, but. Um, was uh, still a fun Pokemon to see. I mean, it's been doing something at least in most games. Here we have some kind of uh, offensive, nice colorful offensive team. There's no way Stantler can put in work in this game. There's no way. Like, look at his team. <laughs> Three fightings. Azu, Dragonite. Six, six priority mons, by the way. Six priority mons here. So you already know. This is going to be a tough matchup for us. I don't know how we're going to put in the work, but we'll try. Check this out, right? I'm going to lead with uh, Magnezone. 
because I already know for a fact that he has no ground types. So I'm going to immediately Vol Switch out. I think is the play. Immediate Vol Switch. I don't think he has a Scarf Mom, but if he does, it's good for him. So Infernape Bleed. No, this is the Rocker. So we're going to just do that. Go right into um, Gliscor. He gets Rocks up. I'm going to Earthquake here. Or I, I click Rocks to break all his Sashes. But I want to Defog, so I'm going to Earthquake. Yeah, so we eat that up pretty well. So if that did, uh, if that was an Overheat, then a Life Orb Overheat would not have knocked me out from probably... Eh, maybe it would have. From that other game. 58. Yeah, probably might have. Or it could have been really close. So Brelim's in. We're going to U-turn out here. As he does that, now we get to go into... Probably Skun Tank and Poison Jab here. I think he'll just Mach Punch. I think I could also Defog, which is not a bad play, but I think definitely knocking this thing out is the play. Eliminate this Pokemon entirely. Yeah, if we have to play with Rocks on our side, that's fine. That Breloom, I think, was a huge threat to our team. Um, Scizor's in. We're going to Defog here. As U turns out, nice. So we got rid of the Rocks. Okay, that's, so that's amazing. That is amazing. And, we, and he took the Life Orb and Aftermath damage too. So, no more rocks to play around. That's great. So, he goes into Lucario. We get to go here into Gliscor because I think Gliscor just lives any physical hit from this thing. Assuming he's a physical attacker, it, it should live. So, Dragonite comes in. We're going to U turn out here into Azu, which should be able to live any hit from this Dragonite. Yeah, definitely lives any hit from this Dragonite. We could just play her off here. And knock out Dragonite. That's gone. Azu's probably Belly Drums. He goes Lucario. We're going to go into Gliscor. As he Swords dances up. Which I don't think matters at all, really. That probably was bad for him. But we have um, Scarf Magnezone. So all we do is Vol Switch out. And then Vol Switch out again. So he could not really have done much about that. And I don't think he could have Belly Drummed with Azu either. Versus anything on our team. We also could have stolen the huge power. Oh, I wish we—I wish he stayed so I could have shown you guys how to steal huge power from an opponent and then just use it to use it for yourself. That would have been kind of funny. But um, yeah, let's continue. Maybe like uh, three more games or so. These games are going by pretty pretty quickly, I would say. Pretty quick, pretty decent. Uh, what can we skill swap here? Can we skill swap anything? Hmm. If we skill swap Magic Guard, we don't get poisoned anymore. <laughs> That'd be kind of funny if we were able to do that. But I think actually I, I lead Azu. Looking at his team, I lead Azu. If he leaves Breloom, I go into... I, I do a little pivoting, right? Do a little pivoting with this team around Breloom so you don't get put to sleep. Go into... Into Stantler. In, and then into Gliscor, into U-Turn, into something else. Start a timer. Versus the uh, Manaphy, we need to keep the Scarf Magnezone around. It's going to be extremely useful. Yeah, Azu Magnezone in this game is, is looking really good. It's looking really good in this game. Where's this guy at? But yes, jo Joey, Joey said that I should record with this Stantler set. And I figured, you know what, I should. <laughs> I probably should. <laughs> And then he demanded a shout out. So I had to give it to him, of course. Because that is a fa fantastic set, I must say. I'm going to just go um, hard Magnezone. And uh, probably just, I could Vol Switch here. Or I could Flash Cannon. I'm, I'm going to Vol Switch as he actually goes Don Fan. I could have Flash Cannon though, but thought it was obvious. So we break this thing's, uh, this thing's uh, whatever. I'm going to heal up. So Manaphy's back. All I gotta do here, I believe, is go hard Magnezone. I'm gonna Vol Switch out again. Yep, go Azu here and then just superpower whatever's in front of me. Because looking at his team, nothing wants to take this move at all. Nothing at all. Play Rough is another fantastic option, but I am gonna superpower here. 
because in case he wants to stay in, I, I just want to destroy this thing if I can. Who knows, this could be counter Blissey for all I know. But player off also looks really good too. And I don't I don't think he's gonna go hard Manaphy. Somebody dies here, which is gonna be really nice, really nice. So Don Fan takes 54. It's alright, I guess. I'm gonna U-turn out here. So who has rocks? So this is um probably Rapid Spin is the last move, I think. Yeah, so you turn out into Azu once again. I think just player of here is the play. We knock this out. Yeah, so Don Fan's gone. Excellent, excellent. So we get to spam Vol Switch now, which is great. Get to spam Vol Switch. Uh, Breloom is in. I'm gonna go Stantler. So I think he can easily just try to put something to sleep. I can't pivot now into uh, Gliscor, unfortunately. So we are gonna go. We are. We are gonna have to go Stantler here, <laughs> which is most unfortunate. Now, I'm not sure what set he is though on this thing. Oh, he force palms. Good play on his part. So I, I think he's locked into that move, which means what I do here is I go Gliscor. So he made a good play there. I like that. Let's just uh, you turn out here or get rocks up is another play. I think you turning is better, so that man if he doesn't come in for free. Or maybe maybe rocks. Maybe let's get rocks up. Maybe let's get rocks up here. Cause this Breloom should be locked in. Should definitely be locked in. So he knows I have U-turn. I'm gonna get rocks up here just because um the chip damage will be really useful, I think, for Dragonite endgame. Because I could Dragonite up and outrage a lot of things on his team. So he force palms again. Yeah, probably predicting the U-turn. I get to roost now, I think. We don't want to get swept by force palm or anything, but I don't even think we can. Yeah, so Blissey comes in. We get to U-turn out here into our Azu. So he actually doubles to Breloom. Not sure why. I guess, I mean, unless he scarfs spores, which is what he could do, because I think he's scarfed. I'm going to go Skun Tank here. I'm going to... Poison Jab. If he wants to Spore, he can. So he just Mach Punches and that's gone. Okay, so maybe... Actually, this looks like Choice Banded. And it's not um, Scarfed. It was actually Banded all along. So I got rid of Breloom, which is great. I can definitely save this for Sucker Punch, though. Which is what I think I'll do. Need to get some damage on the T-Tar so I can Aqua Jet it. So it looks like Alakazam is going to be a threat, but as long as we have priority, like, our last three mons are all priority mons, right? Last three are all priority. So it looks pretty good for us right now, I would say. I'm still so glad we got the Stantler actually, like, naturally skill swapping something. Like, I'll show- I, I guess I could show you guys, like, a replay at the end that I saved, but <laughs> it was not a very natural way of skill swapping. You'll see what I mean. It was just not. So this one was the, uh, the other one that we had in this video was probably the best game I've had for Stantler in terms of just the skill swapping. Um, but yeah, man, if he's in, we get to, I mean, he's going to go for the water move here. I keep Gliscor around. I keep, no, I'm just going to poison jab here. Let him knock me out. Maybe I should have sucker punched, but I didn't want him to tail go all the way up. Um, so here, actually, I just... Uh, I think I just Vol Switch. Because I feel like he goes Blissey. Or he, maybe he stays in because he, he can live a, a an attack or something, right? See, so yeah, I'm just going to Vol Switch out here. Hmm... I feel like I have to Vol Switch, but then if he stays in, it's kind of awkward. Do I have enough for T-Tar? Probably do. Yeah, so he goes Zam. That's great. 
That is excellent. So I go into... Actually, I go Gliscor here. Knowing I can live any hit and just U-turn out. Yeah, nice. So then, right now we go into... Azu. Definitely go Azu here. So Titar's in... Uh, why did he bring in Titar on this thing, though? That's what I'm kind of curious about. Because I think my play should be to just... Superpower to be safe. Okay, that, oh, because he's banded? Okay, that's good to know. Very good to know. So I go into Magnazone here. Yep, nice. Let me Volt Switch out right now. As Blissey is in. We can probably go into... Not Dragonite. If, if this thing is like an Ice Beam set, I don't think he's Ice Beam. Can't be Ice Beam. Mm, what do we do? Because I think we can go Gliscor and just Roost. Yeah, we just Roost here. The soft boils up. Let's just Earthquake for some damage. He'll just set up rocks. I think that's still fine. Because I think we can still beat this Pokemon. 1v1. Yeah, he tries to T-Wave. Still lives. Not sure why he's doing that. So he's going to Seismic Toss here. So as long as I don't mess this up, I should be fine. I think I let him knock me out and then I go Dragonite DD up and Outrage. I'm going to spam rocks. Nice. Get a little chip on this thing, which is great. Let him knock this out. So this, I think this is all I need right now. Because then I just go Magnazone. I Volt Switch out here. He takes rocks and the chip that I need him to take. DD up here. Yep. Let me Outrage now. Get 80% on this thing. Gotta knock this out here. Which would be ideal. Yep. And I think we just win the game now at this point in time. With an extreme speed. And that's going to be GG. It's MV right there. So another fantastic, fantastic Stantler game. <laughs> you already know, not really Stantler as much as um, some of the other stuff, of course, but Stantler has definitely been putting in the finest of work. Uh, so it's really nice to see. Uh, what are we at right now? Um, I, I guess I could probably show... Yeah, this, this replay here was the only other game that I had Stantler actually skill swapping something for actual good use, but it wasn't even that natural. Like, let me show you right here, right? So this guy, he, he gave me some thumbnail text as well, so I figured I'd just feature him. This was like... Just when I was starting out, just when I was starting out testing and stuff like that. Um, so there was a Drapion on this team before, and I switched things up even um, after this, but then I switched things back to other different things. But like, let me show you guys this, right? So I led Stantler here just because I wanted to see this thing put in the work. And immediately, turn one, I, I just go out for the sub, get behind the sub here, and he flash cannons, I can just go ahead and Earthquake. Knock out the Heatran from full HP, so that was actually... Okay, so I guess that was another thing that was really good about Heatran is that it... Or about a Stantler is that it knocked out Heatran. But then, check this out. I skill swap here. Yo, look at this. Hold on. Look at this. See this turn here? Watch this. Watch this, watch this again. Watch this again right here. So, he went into... Um, into Breloom. And so, he asked me about it, right? He asked me, why is this poisoned? And then I had to tell him to switch. <laughs> I told him to switch. And then he switched for me. So, shout out to this guy for actually letting the Stantler put in the work and just to show him exactly what it was. So then I skill swapped here and I showed him it was this poison heal thing. And then he's like, uh... <laughs> so then, um, now I said, now Stantler is Gliscor. So then that was the only other time it, uh, I think put in the work in this game. So yeah, then Breloom comes in. I had to just knock this out. Then Drapion comes in on this Slotty. And he's actually a Reflect type, which is a cool set. I definitely mean on bringing that Pokemon at some point in time. I, I mean to bring that at some point in time. So, yep, then it's just a regular, pretty much a regular game after that, where I had to sack Stantler, go Dragonite, and win the game in the end. Um, but it was much lower on the ladder than we are now um, with this uh, with this video. So, yeah, I just figured I'd show that, because that was the only other time I could skill swap a Gliscor. Only other time. And then we got the, the last, like, the actual, like, naturally good time, like, the good one, in this video.
So I think that's where we're going to end off for sure, though. But yeah, thank you everybody for watching. Hope you all enjoyed the Stantler Showcase. Got to see it do some stuff here and there, knock on some Pokemon, take some, uh, some people by surprise, and get the thumbnail text as well. You just love to see that. But like I said in the beginning of the video, let me know in the comments how you've been spending the holidays. I'd like to know. You know, just a nice non-Pokemon related one. Even if it is Pokemon related, maybe you did something Pokemon related over the holidays. Let me know. I'd like to know in the comments. And look forward to hearing from you all. I'll see you all on the next video. Peace.